In this video we are going to talk about the mystery behind the deadliest lake on earth, Lake Natron. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Lake Natron in Tanzania is one of Africa's most tranquil bodies of water, but it's also the setting for some of the most bizarre images ever taken, depicting living animals turning to stone. Because of the circulating images of creatures that have turned to stone here at Lake Natron, a lot of people find this lake scary. Of course, there is a scientific reason for this phenomena, which is that the high pH in the lake's alkaline water burns the skin of creatures who aren't adapted to it. Lake Natron's alkaline water has a pH of 10.5 and is so caustic that it can burn the skin and eyes of animals who aren't used to it. The sodium carbonate and other minerals that pour into the lake from the neighboring hills give the water its alkalinity. Sodium carbonate deposits serve as a superb sort of preservation for those unfortunate enough to perish in Lake Natron's waters. Old Doinyo Lengai, an active volcano in the Gregory Rift south of Lake Natron, spews natrocarbonatite lava. The lake's basin collects volcanic ash from the Great Rift Valley, rendering it hostile to most species. Natron is left behind in its bed due to high levels of evaporation. The mineral salt natron, after which the lake was named, was utilized by ancient Egyptians in the mummification process. Because natron is both a drying and antibacterial agent, it can suck all the moisture out of a dead body while also protecting it from microbes that would feed on it. Because of the lake's unusual chemical constitution, which encrusses the carcasses with layers of salt, sodium carbonates, and sodium bicarbonates, Animals that die here can become calcified statues over time. Animals that come into contact with this highly alkaline water die, but instead of decaying, they get petrified. This is why the lake is often referred to as the petrifying lake. Do you want to go for a swim? Don't even consider it. The lake appears red in hue due to the high alkaline accumulation, especially during the summer in Tanzania. Halophiles, salt-loving microbes, are responsible for the lake's crimson hue. The lake's high temperature, up to 60 degrees Celsius, 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and high, unchangeable salt concentration are unsuitable to most species. Nonetheless, endemic algae, invertebrates, and birds can be found in Lake Natron. Some fish can even thrive in the somewhat less saline water at its edges. In the waters of the hot spring inlets, two indigenous fish species, the alkaline tilapia alkalapia latilabris and an dalalani, thrive. Lake Natron is a unique, outstanding breeding place for the lesser flamingo. Lake Natron is the birthplace of 75% of the world's lesser flamingos. The lake is the sole regular breeding place in East Africa for the 2.5 million lesser flamingos, who have been classified as near endangered due to their reliance on this single locale. During the dry season, flamingos build their nests on little islands that grow in the lake. Because of its caustic environment, predators are unable to access their eggs on seasonally forming evaporite islands, Lake Natron is a safe nesting habitat. The water level in Lake Natron is just right for flamingo mating because it stays low enough to prevent nest flooding while remaining high enough to keep predators away from the conical nests the birds build. For its intimate relationship with the lesser flamingos, as their only regular breeding habitat, the lake inspired Disney Nature's nature documentary, The Crimson Wing, Mystery of the Flamingos. If you like natural history photography, you've probably seen photographer Nick Brandt's beautiful photographs of mummified birds and bats around Tanzania's Lake Natron shoreline. The bleak photographs make the lake appear to be a living museum, with creatures falling into the water and turning to stone almost instantly. The photographs, however, are more art than science, and they mask the resiliency of life in and around the lake, as Brandt himself has highlighted. Lake Natron is a magnificent life hotspot. Animals that do become interred here do not immediately perish and turn to stone when they come into contact with the lake. The salts that make the lake so special preserve those who fall in and die, but the lake's surface isn't an aquatic analog of the Medusa's gaze. Brandt's photographs obscure the relevance of Lake Natron to life in and around the body of water in various respects. Brandt discovered the carcasses of flamingos and other animals with sharply defined chalky sodium carbonate deposits around their bodies. In his book, Brandt stated, I surprisingly found the creatures all kind of birds and bats washed up along the beach of Lake Natron. No one knows for sure how they die, but the water is exceptionally high in soda and salt, to the point that it would peel the ink off my Kodak film boxes in a matter of seconds. 
Brandt writes, I took these creatures as I found them on the shoreline, and then placed them in, living, postures, bringing them back to, life. Lake Natron is one of East Africa's two alkaline lakes, the other being Lake Bahi. Both are terminal lakes that are supplied by hot springs and minor rivers and do not drain to any river or sea. Their water temperatures can exceed 106 degrees Fahrenheit since they are shallow lakes in a hot climate, 41 degrees Celsius. The terminal lake is fed by hot springs and minor rivers and is located in an arid environment with intermittent rainfall. The lake's water likewise does not flow into a river or the sea. Lake Natron has been added to the Ramsar list of wetlands of international importance due to its remarkable biodiversity. The World Wildlife Fund has also designated it as an important ecoregion. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell before you go. Thanks for watching.